Chernobyl. It took everything from me. Everything but my life. Now, it has come back for it. So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fat One and welcome to what I believe it's pronounced Chernobylite. So I've always been quite interested in what actually happened during the disaster of Chernobyl and this game basically, I believe we're in Chernobyl and we go through it. I don't know whether this is before the disaster or after the disaster. The intro kind of suggests it's after and the guy was saying that basically the disasters took away everything from them because basically now if you didn't know Chernobyl is basically a place where I don't think you can physically go there it's basically full of radiation and I remember they did an episode on Top Gear and that was basically the first time that I knew about it I know there was a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 mission that kind of talked about it a bit but till pretty much this day when I play this game I don't really know that much about it and that's kind of the main reason why I wanted to play this game so I've been quite excited for this game the main reason being that I kind of want to get more educated on Chernobyl and what actually happened and I really hope that this is quite accurate so let's begin hell freaking yes as I said I think it's pronounced Chernobylite I've heard people pronounce it like that so that's what I'm gonna go for and here we go this woman slash girl is back singing a very freaking ominous song I think this is a horror game by the way I'm not too sure I mean this kind of suggests that it is I'm surprised not many people have played this. Everyone's playing the freaking beast inside at the moment and no one's actually playing this one, which is quite surprising. As I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd see that I, this day, today, actually put out a post saying that I'm going to be playing both of them. It's just taken me a while to get to it because I've been very busy this month, but now finally, I can sit down and record an episode one for you guys on at least one of the two games for now. Okay. So I guess that's a scene of Chernobyl before the disaster. I guess this is it. If these are graphics, they look freaking amazing. I hope there's subtitles as well, or possibly we're going to speak English. I have no idea. Or the characters are going to speak English. Jesus, that is... That is freaking awesome. It's like a reverse. So the woman's actually under. There she is. That, that, that's that got to be realistic. That has to be real. There is no freaking way that that is graphics right now. If that's graphics, then they know something that freaking Rockstar doesn't. That zoom out kind of looks like graphics, but there's no freaking way on hell that that woman is freaking zeros and ones. That has to be real life. There is no physical way that that woman is graphics. But here we are on a very strange, I guess, loading screen. I don't like these sounds building up. What is this? Hey, stalkers. After our first trip to Chernobyl, exclusion zone, for a few years we've been dreaming about taking you on a virtual tour there with us, okay? Since the beginning of development we always wanted to deliver a part of the experience of players as soon as possible. Gather the feedback and let us finalise this project together. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, this is early access, so please excuse any bugs. Thanks to our amazing Kickstarter backers, it was already done in a smaller scale. Now it's time to go even bigger. Okay, Jesus. Before our work is finished, we already want to let you explore a big part of the zone with this early access version of Chernobylite. 
and to tell us how you feel about it. We know that this tour may be a bit rough on the edges, considering that our game is still not finely designed and polished. That's why we encourage you to report us any options, bugs and issues that may help us to finalise the project with the expected quality. I'm gonna breathe now. Important, we kindly ask you not to publish any video content until October 15th. It's October 21st! I mean, the game didn't come out until like, six days ago, which was whatever day that is. Press any key to continue. The most important part out of all of that. I have pressed K and here we are in the game. There's that woman that I believe we saw at the beginning. Days gone by. I guess yeah there are subtitles so read the subtitles if you are interested in what they are saying. I'm probably not going to read out the subtitles every time because I'm going to kind of want to watch the game. And here we are, ready to start the adventure. So we got these two guys here, I guess we follow them. Here we go. So we got Igor is one of them. That is very loud. Okay. I look up to 10 o'clock, stay low. We can fist, lovely. Also known as hit. I don't know why we say we can fist. That is very freaking questionable. Oh god. What the hell? A flashback? Oh, the fire was too low. This is what I meant. They're actually showing us what happened. That's freaking awesome. We got Oliver and Igor. Okay, cool. Or Olivier, I think that's how you pronounce it. We can crouch, lovely. We go very freaking low, that's more like go prone right there. Right. I guess we're going into the facility possibly? Soldiers can't go wrong. Stay low, don't be a hero. Sure thing! I mean they're talking to each other, I'm, I'm just kind of here following them. Or maybe I'm Igor or Olivier, I have no idea. I'm assuming Igor and Olivier are them two there. And I'm just... A person staying quiet? I have no idea. Okay, we're heading into the facility then. Oh, I'm Igor. This is Anton and that's Olivier. Okay, cool. I'm Igor. Remember that. Ladies first. Okay, well that's me. Definitely. Be polite or yell at him. How do I choose this? Oh, it's WSD. Uh, be polite. Why not? It's true. Uh, confirm selection is F. Let's do it. Lovely stuff. Damn it is shoot apparently. Right, so I guess we're the only one that's in then. So they've been supposedly nearly spotted. I guess. The truck didn't show up nowhere. Someone drove it here. Okay then. Great. Who the hell is that? Tatiana, I think that said? Jesus Christ. Getting me freaking shivers a bit. What's this? Can we interact with this? We can't. Can we punch it? Objectives are marked on your compass. Use it to navigate through environment. Okay, so we gotta go over here somewhere. Exactly in the center here, so if we just keep going this way, then we're eventually gonna get there. It's gonna be relatively hard to keep up with the storyline, though, as no one here really speaks English. Oh, I just have to read the thing at the bottom. Don't let them see you. Okay. Oh god, Jesus. As I said before, I was freaking focusing on what they were saying, rather than where they were. Alright, that's fine. Press Q and E to lean. Alright, cool. That is a very strange indicator. I'm guessing I can't attack them. So for now, I'm just going to follow this guy. I guess I'm hidden when I'm in here. I can just lean to see where they are. Is this guy still there? He's coming over here. I am freaking dead. There is no way in hell. Or maybe there is. No, okay. There's no way in hell. A technician. Yes, I'm a technician. Exactly. Have a power cut. Oh, great. Well... 
Is this, is this just a woman in my freaking head? Maybe we'll come to an agreement. The colonel himself sent me. Olivia, take them down now. Um... The colonel himself sent me. Shall I try that one? Power shortage now. Yeah, he's gonna be freaking mad. We good? No, we're not. He suspects me. Saw him leave Chernobyl yesterday. Well, he told me to come down yesterday. Oh, he told me yesterday to come down today. Oh, hell yes. My freaking friend. You get guns and I get nothing. I see how it is. Thought you might need a hand. You are damn freaking right, sir. Pretty sure there was no way to get around them anyway. Who's this? Is this the other guy? I guess so. Lovely stuff. Oh, no. Is this... I'm guessing this is a bad guy, or is it not? Jesus game! Oh my god! The hell is going on with the game now? There we go. We got through that. Jesus. Olivia, talk. A Geiger counter to check the radiation. Okay. How do I do that? Press I and equip the counter, I guess. There we go. The only thing we've got. And then F to use. Quick menu is 1. So if I just press 1, there we freaking go. Not good, not terrible. Fair enough. Tatiana, man, come on. We're freaking safe, it's fine. Three, four, that's freaking fine. I guess we talk to Olivia again. And then we go into, I'm guessing, the sewers. Great. Let's meet Lila's parents while we're there. Why not? Okay, Jesus, we're just going straight into it. No ladder or anything. Just jumping straight down. Fair enough. Lovely stuff. Just break our glankles when we go down. And here we are. Probably more radiation down here, to be fair. Yeah, I was about to say, it goes from four to five now. And we're back down to three. Oh, God, okay, that was... Freaking 1618 then. Oh, we got 0 0.3. Why are we missing out this part though? There might be resources down here possibly. What do we have down here? I have no idea. That door has 20. Jesus Christ. 20 MSV, whatever that is. What's this? It says like navigate to others. Can we tell it to search for stuff? That would be very strange. Oh, so Shinobilite is like a material of some sort then. Okay, I got it. That's, that's worth it then, isn't it? Well, that might just be a great. I thought that was a ladder of some sort. Oh, no. I guess this is when they were trying to fix everything then. This is cool. Then they slowly fade away. You're gonna fade away as well? Yes, you freaking are. And then we've gone back into reality. I don't know why we're here, though. I guess we're here to get the material of some sort and then use that for something. I have no idea. It's going to be a lot harder to follow this story than English stories because obviously I'm going to have to keep reading the bottom. Jesus, I don't know why the game freaking does that every time it loads something. Okay. Yeah, please let me do it. How do I put this thing away? Is it just one again? There we go. And V for flashlight. Okay, got it. Lovely stuff. Who do we have? Where are they? They're up here. Five bars of rising. Can I melee him up here? Or is he going to see me? I'm right here. Melee unaware enemy for stealth takedown. There we go. It didn't come up with anything, so I assumed that I couldn't do it, but there we go. I just had to press left click. Lovely stuff. My god, absolutely freaking terrible at his job. Can I now have his supposed weapon that he might have had? I guess he didn't have a weapon. Great. Can I mess with this stuff? No, I can't. I can just pretend to punch it. Every time I freaking press left click, that comes out for whatever reason. Like, the Geiger counter comes out. That's very freaking strange. I guess let's move on. Let's go in here. 
Okay, lovely. I thought you were a freaking enemy, but you're not. Is there anything that we can interact with, or is it just we need one thing and one thing alone? Okay, there weapons that I can find or something like that? I'll go through there. AZ5 button is operational. Okay, I guess it's right here. F to use. That was a very strange flash in my hand then. What is Tatiana? I know she's a woman, possibly, but... I heard Tatiana. Let's do that one. Potentially they know who she is. Don't you hear them? Dead voices gone for so long. They're speaking to me. The hell are you talking about? Are you alright? So they don't know? Please don't. What is this? Oh Christ, I can't do it. I can't. That meant you should have pressed the button. I can do it now, I guess. Can I do it now? I guess not. I guess it's too late. Now we go through this door. I didn't have the ability to open this door, so these guys know something I didn't. Right, they're moving on. I still have the Geiger counter up. We're going into zero territory now, or just at least below one territory. Oh god. Why are people shooting? Okay, the game just needs to load it in. Lovely. What about radiation? Zero. Are you sure about that? It's going up slowly, but it's still going up. Snobby light pick up. Okay. Let's do that then. So cold. Sure is freaking okay. Space time continuum. Okay. Asymptotic projection. Is that how you pronounce that? It bends time and space. Okay, that's quite cool. Sound like a super villain from a bad movie. Technology, it will let me find her. Is she the, the woman? The voice woman? Or someone else? Oh god. Oh no. Yeah. Probably should have been freaking paying attention to our surroundings, to be fair. Now we've caused our friends to potentially die. Okay, you can just go through that then, I guess. Tatiana. It's the voice in our head. Is that potentially our fiancé, or is that someone else? I kind of assumed that, she, that he would have just said Tatiana instead of my fiance. So I guess that we were the one that wanted to go there to get this substance and then create this time lapse or something like that to then find our fiance. 25.0 XP. Gained the Chernobylite. Okay. Here we are in this strange world. I guess we've gone through the portal. I just had to tweak the settings a bit because the game wasn't really running that well. Olivia. Tatiana. That's the woman, isn't it? So it is her. So I guess our fiancé disappeared or was killed during the disaster of Chernobyl and then we're getting flashbacks or something like that? I have no idea. This is very freaking strange. Okay, I nearly freaking walked off the edge, but washed? What am I on about? Luckily there was an invisible wall to stop us. Oh god. Who is this? State your name and purpose. Olivia. You a vision or are you real? I don't know. I guess you are. Anton. Anton был хорошим парнем и хорошим бойцом. A good man, a good soldier. And he died horribly. He died when you two were freaking talking and not paying attention to the surroundings. Я не знаю, но он не телепортировался. 
Должно быть, это трансцендент биокционной проекции пространственного временного континуума. Вот дерьмо, только не начиная опять. Нет, нет, никакой научной лабуды. Прекрати. Это I have no idea, bro. Could not freaking tell you that one. Внутри. It was very strange, though. Ничего, дело не где или когда мы внутри точки сингулярности. Везде и нигде одновременно. Ага, конечно. Бред собачий. Нам надо убираться отсюда. Уверен, тот парень идет по следу. А у меня ни малейшего желания еще. How do we get out? Where's the exit? A very freaking good question, my man. But I guess we're not going to find out just standing here. Ага, да, ты прав. Конечно, чудеса могут и подождать. Смотри, вон там. Вон выход, видишь? Вижу. Look over where? You see a freaking exit? Where is this now? Ай, черт. Моя рука. Так болит. Сломана. Я убью тебя. Yeah, I remember he got shot by from that guy. Wait, that's an exit. Okay. Or does that just teleport you somewhere else? I have no idea. I mean, I have one right here, and then that closes up. So I guess so all of these exits, so then you can just go through this world and then back to supposed quote-unquote reality, I guess. Seems like we're going into a quite open area once again. Day one, Chernobyl morning. Okay. So is this like a survive type thing now? I guess we're all alone. Already getting freaking flashbacks from when I definitely completed the Blair Witch game. The world is it collapsing? I have no idea, my guy. There's freaking lightning over here, and the guy standing there, freaking ominously. Love radiation here, though. Probably shouldn't go near the water. He's gone. I was about to freaking take that guy down, but I guess no need. Voices in your head, forgotten memories. Okay. Someone's trying to remind us of something, I guess. A lot of freaking radiation here, Jesus Christ. It's an abandoned train. Is there anything here? I mean, is there an entrance of any way? I have no idea. Guess we're just gonna go around it for now, and we got train tracks. Oh wait, I didn't even see that. We have a freaking objective. We have over here somewhere. I guess in this little building here. Press V to toggle the flashlight, okay. First time we've needed the flashlight, lovely stuff. Control to crouch and sneak. How are we doing, bro? We good? Okay, you probably died. I don't know how you freaking fit through that railing there, but you must be very freaking small. Oh, no. Are we actually going in water now? Okay, at least it's not that freaking deep. Right for now. When it starts to freaking rise, that's when all F4 is being pressed. Cycle left. What? What does that mean? Cycle left and right on what? I have no idea. What's this? F to use. Are you gonna get through there somehow? I have no idea. I I guess we failed? I have no idea. Are you afraid of radiation? All the protecting gear by accidents happen. Use right click to emit a radar wave from your environmental analyzer and scan your surroundings. Okay. Environmental analyzer highlights items you can pick up. Find a medicament near the cases. I think that's how you pronounce that. Oh, here we go. That That's what I thought. I thought that there might be some stuff that we could actually interact with, but there we go. You are spent too much time in contaminated areas. Use an anti-rad from your inventory to decrease your radiation levels. Press I to open inventory. Okay, then. I wondered why we had all this inventory stuff and potentially wasn't able to interact with anything, but we are. So we do this and then use the adrenaline we can't actually use that so i guess for now we'll put that in one of these can we do that drag it over or something i guess not i guess we're fine for now so we can now go through here i guess this indicates how radiated you are or something i have no idea there we are in the green i guess potentially the blue was better but i guess there was no way to actually get into the blue side of things we're once again outside what the hell is going on okay Hello, sun, I guess. Just like freaking Blair Witch, it's just dark and then bright in two seconds. For God's sake, stop staring into the fire. We need to prepare our dinner. 
Okay. So it kind of is like a just survive in Chernobyl type thing now. So I have a little menu here. So we got medicament, usable, usable. Oh, so we can craft these. Oh, wait, we can't. We actually need things. Okay. Let's just go out of that for now. And then let's find some stuff. So I said we needed mushrooms of some sort. You don't have enough resources to craft. Find some using the Enviro Analyzer. Oh, yeah. So I can actually just scan the environment to find stuff. We got some stuff over here. What's this? Lovely. Mechanical parts. And then flammable stuff. Okay. I guess we don't want to go into areas that are too irradiated for now. Got some herbs, lovely stuff. This is a fully fledged freaking survival game. I did not expect this. Scan this area around here. We have some more herbs and stuff. It said we needed mushrooms, so that's kind of what I'm trying to find at the moment, but there doesn't seem to be any around this area. Oh wait, we can actually- oh, so we can do this. Mechanical parts, food ra radiation, other. Scan for mushrooms, I guess. And then that will show us where the mushrooms are. Oh, so that's saying that there's no mushrooms in the area. Where the hell are the freaking mushrooms then? I haven't found any yet. Wait, so then it... I see. So then it shows an arrow to say where the nearest mushrooms are? I guess? If we do it again, they're still over here. And here's the freaking mushrooms! That is a really cool system. So whatever you need, you can just scan for it and then it will show you an arrow of where the nearest one is. We got a little campfire area here. Lovely stuff. Fireplace. Can we just build this now? Enter. Flammable stuff. Hell yes. Wait, this is just this again. But can we craft some stuff now? So we can craft that. We have enough herbs. Lovely stuff. And then can we craft any of this other stuff? This is what we needed the mushrooms for. And we have exactly two, so we can craft that as well. Lovely. And I guess we can eat this and get our health up, which I don't actually know where our health is. Okay, so I just ate some food, and now it's telling me to go this way. So I guess our health's up. I don't know where our health is. Is it in, like, the top left, or is that our level? I have no idea. Now, I know we got some XP, like, we got 25.0 XP for doing the other thing. So potentially that's our level. Oh, Jesus. Olivier, um, say the password, I guess? The password is, um. Okay, so at least he knows that we're friendly, then. Radiation's acting a bit weird, though. It's not too bad. Before we were like 16, 18, it's not going up to there. Look around and see if any of this stuff can be useful. So we didn't really need to eat all of their mushrooms and herbs and stuff, knowing that this freaking place was right here. Or I guess we didn't know this place was right here? I have no idea. Start rebuilding your base in places where you can build. If you don't have the resources, you can scrap items you don't need. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So scrap, scrap, just scrap all of it pretty much. I don't think we need any of that. Choose a structure to build and place it in your refugee. We need to have enough resources and free space to build something. Okay, so we do F. And then can we rotate it? Hold rotation mode. Do that. And then place it there. F to build. Lovely stuff. This game has building. Okay, I've just made enough one by mistake. So now if we interact with this, we can make other stuff. So we can make buildables. We can make a TV. Or just make this first, if we can. I guess we can if we've got enough mechanical parts. Who is talking to me? I have no idea. Where is this that I've started building? I have no idea. But I apparently can't place it anywhere. So there's like a little sub-menu then. So we click on this, and that builds that. And then if we go back, we click on this one. It basically brings up all the stuff that we can make with that, I guess. But how do we actually make that thing? I have no idea. I guess we need to make these three things and then that would be that in a hole or something like that. I have no idea. And then for this one, we've got basic stuff like barrels and herbs and stuff like that. And then for the TV, I guess we've just got lamps and stuff like that. Lovely stuff. And then we've got some furniture. Wonderful. I guess for now, let's leave that good stuff alone. And there's someone that's trying to talk to us. So where is this? I guess... We can also get rid of all of this stuff. Scrap that. Lovely stuff. Guess this means we'll have full room for stuff that we want to make in the future. So for now, let's just scrap all of this freaking good stuff. There we go. Here we go. Radio station. F to talk. I'm freaking here. Igor is here. Put this away. Yes, not. I need to meet you. Find a hole and jump into it. Okay. 
We don't know who he is. Tarakan is his name. Call it the Eye of the Moscow. Okay. I guess we already have it on the map. It's 15 meters over that way. But potentially that's something else. That seems very close. Okay. She knows where our fiance is. Or potentially knows where our fiance is. After breathing out of a pause, maybe in person. So potentially we're gonna find out something about our fiance. Which is potentially the woman's voice in our head. I have no idea her trying to like communicate with us. To potentially say that she is still alive somewhere, I have no idea. I guess that might be the end result that we find. So I guess for now, ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm going to end the first episode of Shinobili. I did not expect this game to have A, an actual building system, and B, an actual survival system. This game is a lot bigger than I once thought it was going to be, but as I said, that's going to end the first episode of Shinobili. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you want to check out the game for yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please, if you like, if you did, subscribe for our brand new boy, Boss Fat One. Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, Peace.